Welcome to Energy 3D. When you first open Energy 3D software, you'll see a platform to build your house on. It's 36 by 28 centimeters, about the size of the standard house platform. Notice the compass on the bottom right and pay attention to the directions, especially which way is south. This will affect many of your design decisions. Don't worry if your house doesn't look like the example we create here. Feel free to experiment with different shapes and start over several times if you want. Be sure to keep the house relatively simple though. Remember, you're going to print and build your house on paper. Okay, let's get started. On the platform, we're going to build a wall. And notice that the grid marks show up here. My wall is 20 centimeters high by default, and I can drag it along these grid marks. I'm going to stop there at 24 centimeters. Get it exactly on a line, 24.0. There we go. I'm going to rotate and add another wall. I'm going to add four walls in all, of course. Let's see, 16 looks good. Why don't I go ahead and save. File, save as. Test house. There we go. Now I'm going to remember to save often. This is beta software, and there's a chance that the software crashes. If it does, that's okay. You can force quit and reopen right back up to your house. All right, two more walls to go. Here we go. Notice that they lock on the corner. I think I need to drag this one over a little bit. 21, 22, 23, 24. There we go. And a fourth and final wall. Great. File, save. Command S will also work to save. Next, I want to uh, show you that you, if you make a mistake and you want to delete a piece, that's okay. Click the piece that you'd like to delete and the delete key on your keyboard. You can also do a command Z to undo or redo. So that works like a, a lot of the common features that you know about from other software. I would like to create a floor now inside my house. The reason for doing that is to give me something to build on, a platform later. There we go, get it all the way down to the bottom, and I've got a floor of my house. Okay, one more step and I should be pretty good to go. What if I create a roof now? I'm going to draw my hip roof. There we go. If I rotate, I can see what a roof looks like. And if I want, I can click on the wall here and change it to a gable type roof instead. I'm going to zoom over, zip over to the other side, and do the same on that side. Great. Windows would be important. Let's see. Let me rotate right around. And south is down here, so I think I'll create a big window on the south side. That should let some light in. And you know what? While we're speaking of light, that makes me think about shadows. I'm going to turn the shadows on here under View Shadows. It's helpful to see. View Shading will give me another view also. Great! I have created a house. I'm going to see what it looks like under the sun. I'm going to put the heliodon on. Whoa, I've zoomed right in with a double click. Zoom out again. There we go. And I'm going to run the Heliodon. Watch how the sun changes over the house. There we go. I think that's about where we started. I'll click again to stop that. And I'll uncheck the Heliodon back to my house. Now what we're going to do is to, uh, once we've designed a house, we want to see what will look like when we print it. I'm going to click this icon on the far right, and basically the Energy 3D software deconstructs the house into a series of pieces for me to cut and assemble. If I want to know where piece 7, say, goes, I click here and I notice that it's um, highlighted. I can double click to see the exact dimensions and double click again to get out to this view. Use the blue arrow here to rotate my house, and that way I see the different pieces and where they belong in relationship to each other. Uh, go ahead and file print, and you can print to your local printer, and cut out your pieces and tape them up. Remember to look at this view to help you create it. Great. I hope you've enjoyed Energy 3D. Thanks.